Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the soy glaze Cornish hens with the sweet rice. Um, honestly, this dish is really, really delicious. It's very good. Uh, it's got that that sweet taste with a little bit of hint of spice, which is really phenomenal in my opinion. That's my my favorite type of flavors. Um, but here what you're seeing right now is a actually a home ingredients of our seasonings of, for the sauce. Now this sauce is depending on how you want it. You can have it whether you want it to be sweet or spicy. Um, this mixture, like I said, is created by my family and I. So you guys can create your own. It doesn't matter. If you guys want the recipe, y'all let me know. All right, now that we are getting close to the ending for the seasonings for the uh, Cornish hens, uh, we will go ahead and actually combine all this with the uh, with the Cornish hens. So we will get the onion that we had just chopped up, and once we're done with the seasoning and mixture here, we will go ahead and combine all of it into one big pan, and we will go ahead and get that cooking. And then we'll go ahead and start working on the outside projects for the cooking. Alright guys, now that we have the seasoning done, now we're going to go ahead and start focusing up on the Cornish hens here. These Cornish hens are, you know, they're chicken, but they're small chickens, okay? But they do contain a lot of flavor and do hold a lot more juices. But uh, it's just my opinion. Other people might say that, you know, another whole chicken might be better. But realistically, this is my favorite type of chicken is Cornish hens because of the flavors and the juices that it contains. All right, guys. So now that we have the broccoli all seasoned, um, there's not really much to really go off of on the broccoli. It's broccoli. Um, it will be cooked uh, towards the end here. But what we're doing here is making sure that we have our mixed vegetables ready to go for the fryer because that's what we're going to be using for our rice. The egg is going to be cooked to last. Um, because we're going to combine that with the rice here as well, um, just not right now. Um, the mixed vegetables is all going to be included into a sweet rice. Um, it kind of looks like uh, fried rice, but it's not fried rice. It's just sweet rice, which goes very good for your fishes and your chickens. Um, but realistically, all we're doing here is just getting things prepped here for the big cook outside.
All right, y'all. Now that we're getting the butter, you know, really melted here, uh, we're just getting things prepped and ready for the mixed vegetables to be coming in. Um, downside with this is that I'm thinking that this wok is already nice and hot for my mixed vegetables. I am going to make a mistake here because my wok is not as hot as I expected it to be, um, which is because I'm a little impatient and that's my fault. Um, I thought it was nice and ready, but it's no big problem. But I do like to have my mixed vegetables fried on the spot because that's how you're going to be able to get your vegetables nice and crispy and you get to have some of that hot grease soften up the food for you. And then we can go ahead and start getting ready for our rice. But in the meantime, we're just going to let it do its thing and we'll be ready next time. All right, now that I'm just checking up on the vegetables here, I can see that it's still not ready, but we're gonna go ahead and do our stirring around, make sure that every part of this vegetables gets cooked all the way through. That way it mixes very nicely with the rice. Okay, now that the mixed vegetables here are nice and soft, we can go ahead and get these out and go ahead and start getting the pan ready for the rice. Now, when we do the rice, it's not going to be a fried rice. It's more of a specialty rice, which is sweet to us. Um, it is going to be more of like fried rice, but we're not going to really be adding too much of the oriental side of fried rice into this mixture here. All right, now this is my favorite part. Now adding in everything with the fr with the rice is combining the vegetables with the rice because now it's getting closer time to eating. So um, with this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna mix everything and make sure it all mixes well. And then we'll go ahead and actually go ahead and proceed to adding more of the seasonings more of like our sauces and our dry rubs. All right, now that we have everything mixed together, now it's time to go ahead and add the seasoning, and then we are gonna go ahead and add our sauce. Now the sauce is what makes the sweet rice. Um, once we do this, that's it. We let it cook for maybe about another like two minutes. Let it really cook together, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it out and start on to the next uh, part of the process. Yeah.
Now everything's slowly coming together now. We have our Cornish hens, which we are now getting uh, salted on the uh, the fire now. Um, so what we're going to be doing here is just really basing them with the sauce that we had created at the beginning of this video and just keep marinating the, the Cornish hens. Um, once we do this, this is it. We are done. That's when we go to mix things together and we put the Cornish hens for the final appearance. Alright guys, as you can see, this is what the final looks like, and let me tell you, this smell is absolutely overwhelming my mind right now. I'm starving. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go enjoy this. If you guys want to create this same thing, do it. It's worth it. You guys will not be disappointed. Other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. Y'all have a good day.